Hi, I'm Alec, and I'm, uh, where am I? Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm with Alec, and he doesn't know where he's at. We're at Pedro Nunes International Haitian Market. That's Haiti over there, Dominican Republic over here. Let's go check it out. Head east at Santo Domingo, and after a few hours drive, you'll end up in the south. Down here, you'll see all the things you'd expect in the deep south. Deserts, swamps, gators, and... Wait, sorry, wrong deep south. Well, actually not that far off. I mean, there are crocodiles. But we'll talk about those in another video. I'm a crocodile, I'm a crocodile, I'm a crocodile, psych. The area is sparsely populated, and most communities center around specific areas of geographic or industrial importance. But today we want to visit one thing that doesn't usually count as a tourist attraction. And for remote places down south, I turn to a local expert and one of the foremost guides of the area, Mike. He also happens to be my little big brother. Or big little brother. You decide which is which. We like to keep people guessing. English? Okay. Hello and welcome to the border market of Pedernales and Alsapit. So Haiti is over here, Dominican is over there. This is the market that opens up every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And it's open to the public. Uh, all the Haitians are allowed to come over, sell their stuff, their goods, and then go back to Haiti at the end of the day. You'll find some local products, of course, but for the most part, it's actually a second-hand market, or flea market, if you will. You see, for over 50 years, the world has been pumping aid into Haiti, which has not just served as a moral placebo for the world, but does actually do something. It's created a whole economy of its own, that of the used clothes and items market. One man's trash is another nation's economy. Donated and used clothes that end up in collections in the more shall we say, wealthy nations, are packed and shipped to developing countries worldwide. Haiti, for example. And here, they are resold for dirt cheap. I mean, seriously, you can get used clothes for a fraction of a fraction of what you would pay for them new. Here, anyone can then rifle through these, buy a few or a whole bunch, and then resell them again somewhere else on the island. For the most part, all donated things are at some point sold and resold, even if it's just for a few cents on the pound. Even so, the point was for them to help someone, right? Well, by creating this economy, someone got a job and was able to make some money and feed their family. And that was the whole point, right? So the front part over here is all clothes, sheets, bags, things like that. And then the back part is veggies and things like that. In the middle you can find books. You have dictionaries, you have books, you have Bibles even. These, this car, uh, they drive around all around the border area here. And you can find all kinds of little knickknackies kind of stuff. Most lemon squeezer, uh, soaps and stuff for dishwashing. Knickknacky stuff, but interesting things. Uh, here's the bathroom. Don't ever use it. Over here, we have uh, the market. This is the general market. If you look on your left over here, and you'll have Haiti there. So that's Haiti on that side. And they'll walk over the bridge over here, come to the market, and go back. Let's jump the fence. You mean break into Haiti? <laughs> break into Haiti. Could I just go ahead and visit Haiti by myself outside of the antiseptic resorts and cruise ships? Yeah, it's no problem. It's just um, I wouldn't come unguided. I would come with somebody local, a friend or somebody that lives here or lives in Haiti. Meet you here at the border and then at least I'll show you where the safest place is. And uh, it was easier before, but now it seems like it's a little more dangerous recently with the whole immigration problem and elections recently here in Haiti. So you can come, just be, be smart. Don't just like, oh, I'm just going to go over to Haiti real quick. Uh, you know, do, do it the right way. And then it'll be okay. So it's very nice. I bought myself a little broom here to sweep my, my entrance and my house. Now, while I don't need a broom, I heard of something very elusive. Haitian rum. It is rumored to be one of the best rums in the world, and I want to know if that is true. It's not available in the DR, but you can find the odd bottle here on the market. You just have to look. Babacou is not so good. It's more like a whiskey instead of a rum. And Bacara is... So they're very cheap. It's 50 pesos a bottle. So aprovecha because you can't get it anywhere in the country. Well, let's do it. My verdict? It really is the best rum I've ever had. I mean, not sure if it's the best in the world since I haven't tried them all yet, but it seriously is delicious. Especially Bacara Canel with its hint of cinnamon flavor. Mm. If you can get it, try it. But you may have to go to Haiti to find it, or at least to the border. 
Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click here to subscribe and click over here to see more videos of uh, our interesting trips and to learn more about Kiskea. There's a bunch of goats behind me. Click on them, see what happens. I think those goats are illegal. They're like, they're like in the neutral zone. I don't think they have passports.